Hi guys, today's vocabulary is related to cyber security and it is in the context of the recent WhatsApp spyware attack. The first word is breach. Breach basically means a violation of any boundary, any law. So if we break into anything, if you are talking in physical sense, breaking into a house is called breaching the house or if we talk about agreements, breaching an agreement means violating that agreement. The next word is spyware. Spyware basically means any software which is used for spying. The next word is compromise. Now compromise can be used in uh, multiple contexts. The first context is in the sense of human relations. So if we say that uh, two persons have arrived at a compromise, that means they have negotiated a deal. They have arrived at a mutually uh, agreeable solution. And if we talk about the compromise in the sense of security, if we say that uh, something has been compromised, say for example, security has been compromised or uh, phone has been compromised, uh, laptop has been compromised, that basically means your laptop, your phone is no longer secure and it cannot be trusted. The next word is vulnerability. Now this is a word which is very frequently used in the context of climate change, environment, etc. And vulnerability basically means the degree of exposure, uh, the chance of suffering from a loss uh, in the context of any negative event. The next word is patched. Now this word is related to the word patch and patch is anything uh, if we say a patch of cloth, a piece of cloth. So anything done temporarily is patchwork. So if we say that patchwork solutions have been given, so those solutions are Jugaad type solutions. They are not a long term solution. So anything temporarily uh, or anything resolved for a short moment is patchwork or patched. The next uh, uh, point the next word is injunction now this is a good word injunction means any order any official decree any law and this word is also related to another word called embargo so you can use either of these words the next uh, word is outrage this is a simple word you must have uh, read it in the context of political conflicts also so outrage basically means anger the next word is emotionally stirring now this is not an individual word it is an expression the word stir s-t-i-r basically means movement so if we talk about say for example you got a glass of milk and you put some sugar in it you put a spoon in that glass and you mix the sugar so that action of moving the spoon is known as stirring now this can be used in the context of emotions also or feelings also so if something moves you something emotionally stirring something politically stirring something something uh, technologically stirring it can be anything this word can be used in any way so i hope the meaning is clear the next uh, word is social engineering now this again is not a single word it is an expression and social engineering has got two meanings the first is the direct meaning which means uh, making the society engineer uh, to engineer anything means to make something so making society on desired lines societal behavior societal feelings societal thinking that is called as uh, societal engineering and in the context of security uh, societal engineering basically means using deception to lure people to give uh, their personal details to give their confidential details so using fraud using deception uh, to uh, to entice people to share their uh, confidential details is known as social engineering. So whatever context you use, whether it is security or politics or society, the meaning of social engineering will change accordingly. The next is uh, an expression, a proverb, it reads barking up the wrong tree. Now this is a good proverb, you can use it in uh, the related situations and if we decode this uh, proverb verbatim, it says barking up the wrong tree. Wrong tree means we are not focusing on the right tree and if we are talking about barking up, uh, we can uh, use this in the context of dogs. So dogs bark but if a dog is barking up the wrong tree, it basically means the dog is not focusing on the right tree. So uh, if we remove the dog and if we place a human being in its uh, in its position we can say that if a person is barking up the wrong tree it basically means the person is not uh, not focusing on the right thing so a person making a mistake is said to be barking up the wrong tree the next word is disable now this is a very simple word uh, disable in the context of technology is like you disable notifications or you enable notifications or you give permission to something so this word has to be used from that context the next is uh, a whataboutry. Now this is a very interesting word. Whataboutry basically means 
uh, when people just blame each other instead of focusing on the logical rational thing so instead of using logical or fact based arguments if uh, people are simply mudslinging if they are simply uh, uh, criticizing each other on irrational grounds that will be uh, what about re so this is done in the field of politics very regularly so if we have two political parties say for example bongres and tjp bongres is saying that tjp has done corruption and tjp says that when bongres was in power uh, that party also has done corruption so they are simply mud slinging uh, on each other they are just uh, pointing out the mistakes of each other instead of doing any uh, fruitful or progressive discussion so i hope this word is clear it's a beautiful word use it in uh, in whatever context that is possible